To really understand why Regenix is very different, let's take a look at one of our procedures. What you're about to see your orthopedic surgeon can't do, the guy down the street that does a little bit of ultrasound can't do. So let's take a look at this advanced, precise, guided work. Let's take a look at what interventional orthopedics looks like in the shoulder. A 60-year-old patient who had a shoulder injury after kayaking, he's also gone to the surgeon who has apprised him that the surgery is the only option. His MRI is over here and is significant for some inflammation of the subscapularis. The supraspinatus also has some tendinopathic changes with a partial tear. His labrum has a tear in the superior anterior portion. These all can be treated effectively with accurately placed stem cell or platelet therapy. We're using a very specialized concentration of platelet that you can notice its color, it's amber in color, as opposed to many PRP solutions that are made by non-Regenix provider clinics. This one is relatively free or low concentration of both red and white blood cells, which can be extremely inflammatory. The Regenix difference is eliminating these specific cells by utilization of a state-of-the-art lab. And the defect in the supraspinatus. The only way to get into this specific area, this specific defect, is under guidance. Now we're seeing the needle tip into the defect. We inject a small amount of fluid, and you can see the distension of the tissue. Now we're going to change the orientation, and we can see the needle tip. And that little needle tip, see how it distends right there? So we know it's a partial, a little bit of a tear there, which was not evident right there, how it distended. That was not visible on the MRI. The normal tendon should be as tight is a piano string. Very firm, should not accept fluid. That's anything right there but a tight piano string. And there again, we're using two different planes, long and short, to identify the defect right there. You can see it bleeding across. By putting the needle specifically there and distending the tissue, we know we're getting the much needed therapy, whether it be stem cells or platelets into this area of defect. So the next injection is to the biceps tendon. So we're gonna now externally rotate the arm, and in doing so, we get a much better target with the bicep, which is now easily identified and injected. So we're gonna take our needle in from lateral to medial. Now there's a neuro, this is very important, Right underneath my needle is a pumping vessel, which we do not want to injure. It's right underneath my needle, you can see it pumping. So we are gonna, because we have guidance, take the opportunity to go away from it. And because there's some subluxation, we're gonna get that transhumeral ligament. What I mean by deviation is the round bicep is slightly coming out of the groove. And in order to restore that, we're gonna tighten overlying ligament. So let's bring his arm out. And now we're gonna go to x-ray. We're gonna inject a little bit of contrast. We're gonna fine tune that needle placement into the superior portion of the labrum. Utilize a little bit of contrast. And that's the labrum. I wanna confirm accurate placement in the labrum, and to do that, I need ultrasound. That is not an x-ray guided procedure, so we go back from the x-ray to the ultrasound and back and firm again that we have accurate placement. Ooh, that's, that little triangle is the labrum. That is perfect.